I got a Captiva brand 17 inch LCD monitor here that one day just stopped working. The power supply made a poof sound and burned out. So here I'm going to open it and show you what happened. So after I removed the four screws holding the front cover in place, I had to pop open the, uh, the frontal cover to make sure that it comes out of its place. So it's a little bit of uh, work, a little bit of work to get it out. Okay, so now all four corners have been popped out. Also I have to remove this cover between the base and the monitor by popping a notch from the inside here and then remove it and then remove the four screws holding the base in, in place here. And now the back cover should be free to be removed. And you can see this exposed. And you still have to remove the metal bracket in order to access uh, what's inside here. So I assume the power supply will be under this. And now I'm going to remove each one of these screws holding the metal cover down so now with the screws all removed from the back cover inside I can just remove this part and also disconnect the connectors here Have a better look of what's on the other side. Disconnect the speakers. Okay, so now let's see. Ah, well, it's pretty easy to see what the problem is. And if you take a close look, one of the ICs is cracked. It's not just burned out, it's actually cracked. And it left some brown residual next to it. Here, upon a closer look, you can see how cracked this IC is and the brown residual they left. And take a closer look at the other components of the board. It doesn't show any obvious damages here. And here you have the fuse which looks okay from here, but I don't really know unless I can test it from outside the circuit. The uh, main capacitor here, line conditioner, and this is the second secondary board, which is um, responsible for the processing of the video and audio. So I would say this is not really worth the repair, considering the age of the monitor. And also, in, for this monitor in particular, the LCD screen is really uh, deteriorating and the image is really bad, the liquid crystal is going bad. So even if I replace this IC, uh, let's assume this is the only problem and it still wouldn't be worth the repair. But it's good to know what exactly happened.